Alrighty, good morning everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. Let's take a quick forecast look here at uh, the system that's set to impact us. Clouds starting to thicken up across the area today and some accumulating snow uh, starting out to our west. But folks, if you're wanting the accumulating snow here in Indiana, well, I'm sorry folks here in, in Southern Indiana weather area where I cover, uh, it's going to be a mostly rain event for us. Accumulating snow is going to stay up closer towards Indianapolis and folks, uh, Northern Indiana could get hammered with some heavy snow, but uh, certainly not us. I take the satellite off of here. You can see that storm system very clearly. There it is. Again, there are some uh, accumulating snows on the back side of this system, but uh, it'll be a mostly rain event for us to start. Let's go ahead and time it out on the high res NAM. This is not a snow friendly model for us by any means, but you can see uh, as it moves in, here we are by uh, maybe about four o'clock in the afternoon, and we're starting to see that rain approach. Uh, from the west and overtake the area into the evening and overnight hours could be uh, uh, I wouldn't say it would be a completely wet evening here yet but I would take the umbrella with me if you've got plans this evening most certainly uh, showers will be in the forecast um, but you can see starts to dry out a little bit there's the the blue up here is the heavy accumulating snows and you can see it really it's just going to stay well to the north of us in fact it, we're, we're going to be doing good if we get down into the freezing mark tonight for our low temperature heavy rain then to start out early on sunday morning here's eight o'clock on sunday morning as you're headed out to church to worship uh folks some very heavy rain moving out in uh, from the west in fact if you're going to church uh uh, I would take the umbrella with you by the time you're getting out of church. Heavy, heavy, heavy rain. I could be moving into the area. Some very heavy accumulating snow up here to the north uh, as well, but you can see all the snow in this model uh, really just stays well to our north. Get a little bit of a dry slot maybe tomorrow afternoon, but then some more rain on the back side of the system. And then look at this. Very quickly, as we start to have the, the front pass through and we get into the cooler side of things, notice how it just dries up as the cold air crashes in. Uh, we might get some light snow showers here in this gray on the back side of the system, and that's about it. So don't expect much snowfall for us from the way things look with this. In fact, uh, this is the reason why uh, the low pressure that's actually going to develop out to our west today, if we go back out here, it's uh, not on here yet, but if I were to put this on here what you would be able to see is low pressure starting to develop right out in here around Kansas eventually this is going to develop and head our way and then of course as it heads our way during the day tomorrow that low pressure is going to track right over us uh, two strong high pressures up to the north are going to keep that low suppressed where it can't go to the north uh, that's going to keep it unfortunately right over us though because it develops it to our west it's got really no way nowhere to go but right over us that's going to put us into the warm zone so if you like rain it's going to be a cold rain but unfortunately it's not going to be snow for you snow lovers gfs snow accumulation totals here from its latest morning run you can see well the, the accumulating snow again these 3.9 here is up in the indianapolis area and northward if you're down here in the neck of the woods of southern indiana this saying maybe 1.3 for the Bloomington area, a whopping 0.4 for Louisville, 0.4 for Huntingburg Airport, 0.4 Vincennes, 0.2 Evansville. You get the idea, and that would likely be on the back side of the system as we get maybe some minor snow showers coming through tomorrow night. So. Again, nothing nothing major. It might cause a slick spot or two on Monday morning, but it's not heavy accumulating snow by any means. The high res NAM, even lighter with those snow totals well, well, well to the north from Indy on northward. Regular NAM is showing kind of that similar vein. So that's something. Uh, not all the models are in here in the morning. We're still waiting on the Canadian model to roll in. The Canadian model actually last night had the heavier accumulations down to the south, but it was by far the outlier, and I'm not buying that solution. Uh, typically, whenever you have have these low pressure systems like this formed to our west and they track over us climatology just does not favor a heavy accumulating snow this far south really think most of it is going to stay uh, well to the north of us folks temperature wise tomorrow from the high res nam i think this has got a fairly good handle on things uh, this afternoon we're going to warm up fairly nicely we'll go into the uh upper 30s low 40s across the area today and then we'll cool off only well the high res nam only takes us down to about 33 34 for a low tonight around the area i think it might get a degree or two colder than that but 32 is about as low as it's going to go over most of us tonight then by tomorrow morning the temperature starts to rise throughout the day in fact as we go throughout the afternoon hours look what it does i mean uh, we're talking temperatures as as far north as bloomington at 39 degrees 44 at the huntingburg airport 45 here in in 
in uh, Evansville area, 48 over in Louisville. So, folks, it's going to be a warm day. Now, that's a cold rain, but those temperatures are certainly warm enough to keep it an all-rain event for us without a doubt. So here's, I think, what you can expect. Uh, this is my future snowcast. I'm not putting snow totals on with this because it's really uh, kind of silly to at this point, folks. For most of us here in southern Indiana, it is going to be a mostly rain event and very little, if any, snow. Again, the backside of that low, we might see some light snow showers or flurries. Again, it would be an inch or less, if anything, and most likely far less than an inch. If we got a half inch out of this, uh, most of us would be doing good. I'm thinking a few spots might get a dusting. It's not going to be a big situation for us. Up here a little further north to say around the uh, the uh, Bloomington and Martinsville areas, a wintry mix of some rain mixing in with some snow. That's where you might start to get an inch or two of accumulation on the back side of the system as it's a little bit cooler air up there first. And then the heavy accumulating snow will stay up here in, in northern Indiana. And even Indy may get in on some decent accumulations, but some of the models are uh, sort of iffy on that. But bottom line, you can see uh, out of the southern Indiana area, far out of the southern Indiana area is where you get that accumulating snow. Not looking uh, pretty for us, folks. Let's go ahead and take a look at your 10-day forecast here, sponsored by the Smile Center in Huntingburg. Again, it's becoming mostly cloudy today with those clouds filtering in. we got a chance of rain later in the afternoon. We'll go up to a high around uh, 40 to 42 degrees across the area, going to near the freezing mark or maybe even mid-30s for some of us tonight. Uh, rain, a good bet tonight. Maybe some snow showers, but that would be a very iffy scenario. I'm thinking it's going to be mostly a rain type of event for us. If we do get any snow showers mixed in, it would be late overnight into the early in the day tomorrow, but it's going to be a solid rain for the afternoon. I'm not expecting any snow accumulation here for the southern part of the state little or no by the time it's all said and done as we get to some light snow showers on the back side of that system a fairly warm day for a, a system like this tomorrow with around 43 for your high but enjoy that because monday the cold air crashes in on the system as crashy the cold front moves through uh, we are talking 27 for a high on monday Back up to the upper 30s for Tuesday. Another system moves in on Wednesday. It looks like it's going to be a chance of some light snow maybe with it, but it's probably going to turn into more of a rain event for us again based on the way things have went for us. Maybe changes to some light snow showers on Wednesday night and early on Thursday morning with temperatures much colder beyond that. So that's an up and down pattern this week, as you can see, folks. But then we start to moderate back out to the upper 30s and low 40s to end the 10-day period and right around 37 to 40 degrees across the area where we should be this time of the year so we are trending in a uh, more favorable uh, direction to be uh, a little bit normal here but you know bottom line folks we got some rain moving into the day if you got plans tonight then just uh, make sure you keep an eye on the radar this evening but no travel problems really expected uh, because folks it is going to be a mostly rain event for us uh, pretty boring. Yawn. Uh, the slow, boring winter continues. Can't seem to buy a snowstorm around here, but that's uh, just the way this winter is going, folks. We can forecast it. Unfortunately, we can't control it. All right, that is it for this update, folks. I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite. Have a fantastic day, folks, and keep it tuned here to Southern Indiana Weather on Facebook and Twitter for updates throughout the day and evening.